trying to do is tell you what was going on with me and the head of the department, the Shakespearean director, before I went to the psychiatrist. And I think I was probably getting report. he was probably getting reports from my teachers that I was not acting normally, you know, like a normal student does who sits there, oh, writes down everything the professor says and regurgitates it back that. to him. I didn't do that. <laughs> Well, if you were a serious student, this is what was I was never a serious happened. student. Well, I'm sure you weren't. That's why you weren't traumatized like that. But me, I've been a serious student, but now I decided to go with my own agenda. I had to get surface some of my feelings about this or I was just going to explode. Talk about covered with sores. Aren't you talking about implode rather than Yeah, explode? well, implode. Implode, yes, that's a better word. So. The professor called me in or asked for me to come for an appointment and I, because some of my grades were going down well. He didn't actually say that, but I knew what he was having me come for. Well, he didn't show up to that appointment. He never even told me, or, and so I waited and waited. So she set up another one. So I sat with that one and he was 45 minutes late to that one. So by the time he came, he didn't give you a clue that people really don't want to. <laughs> no, he didn't want to talk to meet with you. And I mean, so by see, the time he came, I got that same problem. But I, <laughs> after I could see that he really didn't want to talk to me, mm. uh, when he came, I was just non-committal. I, I wouldn't talk about it, and so he said, "Well, if you won't talk to me, uh, how about a, a school? Would you go to the school psychiatrist?" Well, I'd never been to a psychiatrist before, uh, and I'd always kind of been curious about him, so I thought, well, what can it hurt? You know, I'm leaving the university, it's obvious. I'm starting, they're starting to give me failing grades for my behavior. That could be a clue. <laughs> yeah. That could be a And I thought, clue, I just as well go see this school psychiatrist before I leave. I should just take everything in the university that's, has to offer. That's, you, that's you. <laughs> one, one of the first clues that you have in a university, you know, uh, you can be paid up for four years, right? Uh -huh. And within the first semester, uh, if you fail everything, <laughs> they're going to let you come back for the second semester. <laughs> right? All right. <laughs> and then when you fail everything, they're going to let you come back for the <laughs> sophomore year, as long as you don't disrupt anything. Of course, you've got zero grade points going for you, <laughs> yeah. right? You might as well be just monitoring the class because you're not getting anything done. So, uh, but if you're not paid up, say, oh, then they then, then they're going to say, well, right, we don't need you. Uh, well, we, we were not a paying yes, base. It would be, it would be we better that paid up it would be better that if you. Uh, go back to community college or maybe yeah. just go back to the farm and just you know hang around behind that horse for a while until you get used to the smell. Well uh, when I went to school psychiatrist I had no sense of being in any danger uh, I just thought well. Because you were failing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was, the only danger I was they would be saying and I was I, and I had told them. I never I told got the an F in my life but I'm I think leaving, it would be a I'm leaving call. the university anyway. I could see the end in sight. So and it was too big to be fixed. Uh, but I was making a statement, which was important to me. I was making a statement to every teacher. And then I was making a statement to him. Charlie Manson as much as was he making a statement me. too, remember? Uh, well, and the Squiggy and the rest of his crowd, they were making a uh, Yes, well, of course, everybody makes, but anyway, when I went to the, the school psychiatrist, uh, then I, uh, I went with him, uh, proceeded to act exactly the same way that I've been acting in my classes. Uh, that, that was not why. <laughs> no, that was not why. That was, uh, then he was a Mormon psychiatrist later, I found out. Do, right? And you here do. I comes in it there. Not and, the right uh, thing and the first thing he does is See, he's if very... if you want to be an actor or doing <laughs> acting, acting is acting, okay? Being is not acting. Now, if you're going to act like an asshole, everybody knows you're acting. But suppose you are an asshole, right? Then you're not acting. Well, when the Can when, I say see that when uh, but the head of my department asked me what was wrong, I just sat there and never said anything. I was to the point, you know, where uh, and, and me who 
would never have been, oh, I've been such an obedient young girl all my life. And so when I just sat there and looked at him and didn't answer him. Uh, and so when that psychiatrist came and started asking me some questions in a very bored tone, I didn't like his bored tone like, oh, another student thinks she has. And so he asked me uh, these questions, and I just sat and looked at him and didn't answer him. Oh, well, believe me, that yeah, got that's his real attention. Yes, that's, that's real good. <laughs> that really got, and it yeah. took all the nerve I had to do it to him dumb? because obviously he wasn't oh, used I to see. such behavior. I believe there's no communication <laughs> So, on. Is after, there anybody in there? Uh, yeah, Hello? yeah. And so after three questions, which I just, but I was looking right at his face, I was like saying, hey, say something to me yeah, well, that I can answer. Zombies do that too. <laughs> you ever see these horror movies? <laughs> yeah, well. Maybe he thought I was a zombie. zombie. I was a zombie. I was how many, gone. How many zombie movies have you ever seen where they really talk? You know. And, and so I was on the third question. I was going to start talking again, and I thought, well, maybe now I've got his attention. He'll listen. <laughs> and instead of that, I believe you had his I attention. I can say later. something to him because, folks, I could not get through to these professors if they didn't want you to say something to them. They were going to, no matter what you said to them, they weren't going to let you talk. So. He leaves the room, and I thought, oh my word, another one. Well, I thought about just walking out. And he left me there for half an hour. And I thought, lucky? this guy is but so if rude. If I had been this guy, I'd have left. I'd have probably left He's the so campus rude. for the rest of the day. And so then he comes back in. And and I suppose he'd gone it. to get armed guards to help him. I said, Geraldine. You want to go to the hospital. See, you're talking, this is the first time you start hospital talking to yourself, had come right? up. Hospital came up, and I thought, uh oh, uh oh. And I said, no, no, I don't need to go to the hospital. Oh, if you think I need treatment, I thought, oh my word, what have I done? What have I done? Because I, I, could, I could see that some wheels had started turning in his mind. And, uh, and I thought, oh, how ironic. Uh -huh. Here I am, trying so hard to get it, get through to these professors who are determined they're not going to let me say anything that's real or the truth. Or <laughs> and this guy's going to lock me. He's well, he did. He went on to say, Geraldine, you are going to the hospital. And so then he left, <laughs> turned me over to the guard, and that's how I got. And this all took about. Ten minutes. He, uh, the three questions took about ten minutes. That's what determined. What me. were those that, three questions? Oh, just I'm bored. No, I'm going to be uh, sorry just, to ask just, this. Uh, I don't know. Just ask me the. It was his me manner. The three, ask me the three questions. No, the three questions. It was his manner. So bored, like uh, oh, another student. What is know, a psychiatrist? Thinks they yes, have. A psychiatrist that was excited about it. <laughs> well, well, I. Seriously. I, I think he did they have the over. highest suicide rate. <laughs> that and dentists are the two highest suicide rates as far as professionals. Uh, well, I had no so. acquaintance with psychiatrists, you know, and I didn't really realize that uh, acting like I did to him was tantamount to acting the same way to a policeman. They had the power to incarcerate you. So off I was taken under guard, uh, put in a locked facility, and then I thought, mm. Pretty much where we live right now, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah locked facility and then I thought well now I'm gonna to have to get out of this one this you know when you mess with people who are hiding things and they don't want to talk about them uh, you are going to risk this kind of thing does the word acting and being mean anything to you? You should have started yeah. acting real cool. 